Miguel from Grumo Media, and I'd like to introduce you to Meet App, another app that I've built using Glide, the no-code app building platform that I've been using for the last couple of years to build tons of apps. In this case, this is an app that allows you to plan, manage, and sell uh, events or meetup events. In my case, I've been doing a lot of meetup events but some of them we want to keep private and this is the perfect tool to share with your friends or if you want to, you could also do this for business purposes. But in my case, I use it just among my group of friends to organize different events. And it works very similar to meetup.com in the sense that you can create events People can RSVP, they can change their RSVP. Then as, as an administrator, you can easily manage all the attendees, move them to not going, move them to a waiting list, change their role from attendee to co-organizer or make them a host. You can contact them directly from the app. You can call them, message them. You can do so many things, really everything that you would ever need to do. Send an email to everybody that is going. You can add uh, attendees, you can duplicate an event, you can cancel the event, you can add comments. It's a really full-fledged application. You can also sell events. All you have to do is go to any uh, specific event and add a price to it. You can add coupons as well. If you want to promote an event uh, at a discount, you, the coupons can have a limit in quantity and a deadline as well. The uh, address, uh, the specific address is only revealed to people that have RSVP already. So let's say I change this to not going. You see how the address has disappeared. The moment somebody RSVP, you get a notification both as the administrator and as the individual that is uh, RSVP. So for example, if I RSVP right now, then I should get an email. Now, I don't get an email the second time I RSVP because I already RSVP once. But let's say I logged in as a different user and I can do that pretending to be a different user inside the Glide app editor. I can uh, pretend I am Beth J. Anderson. And I can see that this person is going to this event. There's a little indicator saying which events the person is going to. So you can see here, it's going to that event. Uh, I also can filter by going or not going. For example, I could change my RSVP here to not going, not going. And when I go back here, you can see say it's saying not going. But let's say I want to go to Mix Housewarming Party. So then I'm pretending to be Beth J. Anderson. I see who is going, not going. I'm like, oh, this is like a pretty cool party. I like this Miguel dude. So let's uh, just RSVP. There is an at attendee limit. So the moment the attendee limit is hit, then you only can join the waiting list. Uh, so for example, I can RSVP now, okay? And then an email has been sent to Beth J. Anderson, which we should receive soon here. You can see there's two emails. One, I'm also getting the, in this case, the admin email, but you can see there's a new RSVP and it says the user waits event and also the zap. In this case, I'm using Zapier to trigger the email notifications. And we can see that here. I'm, I'm now in, in Zapier. And anytime there's a new RSVP, two emails are being sent to the actual user or attendee and to the administrator. Uh, so the actual user would get this confirmation uh, and the person also gets the, the address and also a, a link to a map. If you add a link to a map, basically a uh, notification telling them that they've been registered. All of this be, is being done automatically. Now, when you get the template, uh, you make a copy of the template, you will have to set up your own Zapier integration. And there's a lot of things you can do in order to customize this, obviously, because you can customize everything inside Glide once you make a copy of the template. But for example, if you go here to the RSVP button and I click on the uh, custom action, you can see everything that is happening when somebody uh, RSVP. First, we're checking that the person is signed in. And then what we're doing here is checking that whether the person has already RSVP in the past or not, if they haven't, then it creates a new row in the attendee uh, table. And the attendee table is here, as you can see. You can see all the tables that we have here. And the attendee table is this one, the event users table. It would create a new row indicating that that person has uh, RSVP'd. And when that happens, then there is a trigger zap. We trigger this zap. And all these values are being sent to Zapier to send a confirmation email, right? So you will have to change this to your own Zap in order to get confirmation emails. And 
as a, an administrator, you can do many things. If we go back here to the administrator view, now I'm logged in as the administrator. Uh, you can also see an admin panel. The admin panel allows you to change a welcome image. You can also see all the sales that you've done, if uh, you've made, if you are actually selling any of the, the events. Now, what would the selling process would look like? Let's make this event, for example, games and, and fun by commercial. Let's make it a paid event. All we have to do is put a price. Let's say it's going to be 20 bucks to come in here and we can enable coupons too. And the coupon is going to be Grumo, let's say done. Now let me log down and then log in as a, another user, a brand new user. So you can see what a brand new user would experience. So I sign out and then I can sign in. Uh, using my uh, Gmail account. So I could go here and select this user. And you can see the new user is greeted with a welcome screen, which is also fully customizable as well. Let's say if you want to customize this, you only have to do to the well, go to the welcome screen, right? Uh, go at us anyone. And then you can select any of these components and change this to whatever. Let's say this, this is a different language. You can change that to Ola if you want it, right? And if you want to undo things, just click undo. So the first thing a new user see is this welcome screen. And it's asking for the name because it's not being entered when they logged in. So you could say, uh, my name is John here. And then let's get the party started. And that will take them immediately to the uh, up upcoming events. If you want to see past events, they will be here or here. And uh, at any moment, this new person can join a new event, right? Now, like I, this event is paid event, so this person will have to enter the credit card information in order to join, uh, or they can enter a coupon to get a discount because this, this event has coupons enabled, and here they can get a 50% discount, which would be applied to their checkout as well. Or if it's a free event like this one, they can RSVP immediately. All he has to do is go to any of the events, click RSVP, and then John will get a, an email notification saying that he has confirmed that he's going to this event. And that's pretty much it. This app has all the functionality you would ever want for a app to create and sell events. It's fully customizable. And if you want to get a copy of it for a nice discount, you can go to groomo.com forward slash meet app. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any ideas or suggestions for new apps, let me know. And if you like the video, of course, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.